guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I am making a get well candy bouquet for a coworker of mine. Um, she recently had knee replacement surgery, so we're taking her get well bouquet. Um, and materials that we're going to need is a bunch of mini chocolate candies. And the important thing is, for the, what I, the way I'm doing it, is that they have a wrapper that you can hot glue. Like Hershey Kisses, Nuggets, they would melt, I feel like, the chocolate. So I got a few bags of mixed, you know, snack size. I have a vessel to build the bouquet in. This is from the Dollar Tree, I love it. Some foam to stick in here to hold all the candy. And then I got some yellow, it's called decorative shred from the Dollar Tree to put on top. And some skewers. And then wire nips and hot glue and hot glue sticks. And all you're doing is cutting the skewers in half because I don't want mine really tall. I want it short and fat. So I'm cutting mine in half. If you want yours tall, you can make it taller. And then I have this Get Well Balloon that we're gonna put in the middle and build all the candy around. So those are my supplies. I'm gonna take things apart. I'm just gonna cut this in half in pieces and get it down in here so it's nice and firm. And then I'm gonna cover it with the crinkle shred. And then I will bring you along and show you how I glue the candy onto the sticks and how I place it. All right, so I would, oh, and my drink is iced coffee. I will be back in one second to show you what I'm doing. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how I attach the candy to these half skewers. And I have a couple done, and then we're going to insert them when this is done. I have some that are single, like that, and then I have some that are double, and I even did a few that were triple just to get them down in to the to fill out in the pot and I'll show you in a second and I also want some going the right on a glued on this side and some glued on this side so there's a variety so we'll start with the Kit Kat and these are just little singles and honestly you could use any size any size candy that you want um, I just find these little ones work the best so I put some hot glue on the end of the wrapper and I just rolled it in and I'll hold it for a second to get dry. Now, because I'm a little me, I like everything labeled upwards. So, I just make sure the label's in the right direction. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, but you know. And then I just attach this one. Um, the good thing is it's double layers of the foil, so it really isn't burning my fingers at all. I'll show you a couple more. But they're just glued, wrapped around, and they're like a little flag. And then if you had a longer skewer, you could go all the way down. But I don't need to. And then I'll show you a single. We'll do the York Peppermint Patty. I just make sure it's to one side. I put a band of glue right there. And then I take this, attach it, and roll it on top of itself now on this one maybe um i don't need any more super full ones but i'll show you so then i'll take a milky way or something and then i do, turn around i know Whew, excuse me sorry if you can't see me i'm just gluing it and there you just want to kind of keep the hot glue away from the chocolate because it can melt it. It's hot enough. Now I'm going to have plenty of candy left. I'll just take the extras in or put it in the bottom of the bag when I, I'm going to get a gift bag type thing, like a gift basket bag. That's what I'm looking for. But we'll move the candy over. And here is, let me raise this up a minute the bouquet so far so I have the tin all I did was stuff the inside and I hot glued the foil and if you can see down in here I put a, a base layer of the 
chocolates and then I went in with the crinkle paper and just stuffed it in between. And now all I'm gonna do is fill in any spots that I think are bare. So like this side here looks kind of bare. I like these around the bottom just because I think it gives it weight down there, but they can also just go up here in between because that's my middle. Now here's a double. So we'll just stick it in there. And all I want to do at this point is just get all the candy as much or as much candy as I can in here. And as I'm pushing it down, it's going into the foil. I mean, into the floral foam. But I want you to not be able to see, like I want this super full in here. So some of them will be bumping up on top of each other, but that's okay. Um, and if it's too low, like if I drop something there too low, I just pull them up a little bit in the back like that. And then the, I want them tucked up against here, the balloon. So then I'll just keep tucking them in and getting different heights on the different candies. So it'll totally fill in. Ugh. This one here might be, oh, this is a three-decker. Too tall, so I'm going to move it to the back. I'll move it over here. But with the floral foam, you can totally just move everything around. There we go. And that's good height up around the balloon, how I want it. And then we got her gift card, and we'll tuck that in as well. Some of these are flopping around back here, so I'll get them in there. But that is it. That is how I make my bouquet, my flower bouquet. Now, I don't need all this stuff hanging over, but I just like it. I like it looking, you know, like a flower arrangement would. But there's a hundred different ways you can do it. This is just how I chose to do it. So I'm going to continue to glue the small pieces and cut these skewers in half. It's just neat. These are just wire clippers. The skewers work better than wire is going to work for sure. Like I have some bald spot here, so I think we're going to need some of these little, these little sized to get down in that bottom area. But yeah, so really this is it. This is how I do it. It's just tedious, but it's super fun to get these candies. Now, because I'm trying to get this front filled in, I'm not going to do multiple layers. I just want to kind of do one at a time and kind of fill in the bottom. So that's how we do it. I will show you the finished product when it is complete, and I hope you enjoy. And here is the finished product. Oh, I think it's so cute. I love it. I'll wrap it up in some plastic with all the candies on the bottom and call it a day. Take it to work on Tuesday and we'll get it delivered. Oh, that's such a nice, easy gift. I would say it costs 12, $15, 30, $20. I don't know. We'll say 15 to 20. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed and you have a good one. Night.